The surgical technique for the thumb CMC joint hemiarthroplasty using a BioPro modular implant will be presented. The indication are generally older patients of moderate to low demand. X-rays here show marked joint space narrowing. A curvilinear longitudinal incision is made over the base of the thumb, extending towards the first compartment. It is critical to release the compartment once the radial sensory nerve is identified and protected. This will serve to not only define the interval for the arthroplasty, but also release the first compartment and avoid decrovanes, tendinitis type symptoms postoperatively. We will elevate the APL insertion off the base of the metacarpal, identifying the interval now between the metacarpal base and the trapezium. A cutting guide is used to fashion between a 10 and 15 degree back cut in a sagittal plane. However, through a small incision, this is used more as a guide. The base will now be removed with the osteotome and it will be approximately six millimeter resection of bone. The ligaments will need to be freed up and showing the arthritic changes. A small round burr will be used to create the channel in the trapezium that will accept the head. This is a sizing guide that will then determine the size of the uh, head implant with the stem being determined separately with serial broaching as we can see here. It is important to use the maximum size so this will have better bony ingrowth and stability and minimize the chance of loosening. The sizing guide will have zero, plus two, and plus four sizing, depending upon the laxity. Once this is tested, this is a hemispherical brooch, which will uh, widen the canal that was created by the burr to better sit the implant. The modular trial is now inserted, which will be used to test stability and to determine if we have the correct sizing. We will bring it through a range of motion and fluoroscopy will be done to ensure that the stem is sitting in a good position and that the head is deep enough within the trapezium. Notice that full abduction leads to no dislocation. The definitive implant has a plasma spray titanium for bony ingrowth and will require mallet impaction for good fixation. Reduction is then easily done with abduction of thumb and noting that there is, again, good stability. The joint will be irrigated out. Fluoroscopy is brought in and shows good position of the implant with, with adequate fill of the trapezium and the stem typically will abut the medial cortex of the metacarpal. The closure will be done using Vicryl so that the insertion of the APL and the capsule is secured. This will provide further stability. Closure to skin is simply done with four ovical repeat stitches. A well padded thumb spike, a short arm plaster splint is applied. Final x rays determine excellent position of the implant, as seen here. This is a simple outpatient technique that allows for a stable implant and almost immediate use of the hand and thumb with a minimal amount of therapy. It spares the trapezium and allows for revision if that would be needed. This is an excellent solution for a common problem, namely thumb CMC joint osteoarthritis. Thank you for your attention.